Vaya, gracias. De acuerdo. Bueno, gracias, entendido. Bueno, gracias. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. How are Hi. you? How's everything? No problem, teacher. That's fine. How was your day today? Mm. Very good, good. and yours? <laughs> That's, it was great. It was great. Sorry, guys, my computer had to restart. Uh, but we're back here. How are you doing with the platform? How are you moving forward with it? All right. So, anyways, guys, uh, it's good to, hear, to see you here, guys. Um, we're going to get started in a, in a minute. Just, just want to know, we're missing... Um, we're missing like five people. Just missing. Hmm. All right, guys. So, anyway, so um, so let's continue talking, guys, about relative clauses. Okay. So let's uh, do a quick checkup, guys, on what we saw yesterday. So, what is, guys? All right. So, what is a relative clause? Who remembers what a relative clause is? Anybody? Mm, uh, I understand that uh, you uh, we can use uh, the relative pronouns to explain a, a better way. Something, for example, we can use who or that. All right, good job. Okay, so to explain something in a better way, all right, does anybody else have another definition, guys, of a relative class? Do you know? Do you remember how to identify a relative class? Like if you if you were to see this, right, like like the sentence that we have over here, how would you identify the relative class here? Mm -hmm. For example, right? How would you identify that? Because they use who or that. Because they use who, right? Or that. Mm -hmm. Very good. And how do we call that? How do we call that? That who or that? Relative mm -hmm. pronouns. We call them relative pronouns, right? Very good job. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yes, we call them relative pronouns, right? Good job, guys. So yes, so they are, uh, these are clauses, right? Because a clause is, what is the definition of a clause itself, guys? What is the definition of a, of a clause? Uh, they have to subject and verb. Oh, Very good. Yes. Predicate. Okay, so they have. Subject and predicate. They have a subject, right, and a predicate. That is correct. Okay, yes, guys, right? That is 100% correct, <laughs> right? Pretty good, pretty good, okay? So I like that. All right, very good, guys. So let's talk today, guys. So to the, in today's agenda, we are gonna see, guys, all right, how uh, noun phrases can be used Noun phrases that contain relative clauses can be used as subjects, okay? It's really not, the, the whole thing, guys, is more complicated than like the, like the, 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 the topic sounds more complicated than it, what it actually is, okay? It is very easy to understand. All right, guys, so if I say, guys, what is a phrase to you? What, what's a phrase to you guys? What would be the definition of a phrase to you? How would you explain that? What do you think? What is a phrase to you guys? How can you define that? Can be a uh, sentences that we use uh, very, very common. 
Okay, so it can be a sentence. That is correct. Okay, it can be a sentence. What else, guys? How how else would you define it? Describe an action. It describes an action. Okay. All right. What else? All right. I describe um, uh, action the bar. Okay, it describes the action of a verb. Okay. All right, very good. Um, okay, let me ask you this. Uh, do you think that this is a phrase? Yes. <laughs> yes or no? Yes, right? Yes. It is it is a phrase. Okay, so very good, guys. So see, it's what we call guys a noun phrase. Now, let me ask you something. Let's analyze this, okay? And let's try to participate. You know, everybody try to participate, okay? I want you to be analytics. Uh, analytic, I'm sorry. Um, why do you think that this is a noun phrase? Why, why is it called a noun? Why? Why do you think that it would be called a noun? Mm, I think it's a noun because in this sentence, or oh, in this part of the sentence, um, the person who write all of this describe the action, the main action. Okay, <laughs> so the person who wrote that described the um, main action. Main action, yes. One thing I like to have. Okay, all right. Okay, it can be that. That is. All right, that is acceptable. What else, guys? What else? What else would that be considered a noun clause? What do you think? All right, so yes, guys. Okay, so listen. What, what is a noun? Just think about it. What, what is a noun? If I ask you, hey, well, what's a noun? What is a noun? If I say, you know, if I say Cheyenne, is this a noun? Would this be a noun? Yes or no? Oh, I guess mm, not. I think no. yes. If I say, you know, okay, so if I say Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne, right, is my brother if i said chan is my brother is chan a noun yes or no um yes, yes because yes. i think chan is the person who is doing the action okay all right very good chan is a noun yes right if i say he is a noun can is this correct is this a noun he is my brother Yes. Mm, yes. No, it's not a noun. It's a pronoun, right? Mm -hmm. It substitutes the noun, okay? All right. The noun, guys, is whatever. Guys, a noun can be a car, an elephant, Cheyenne, Giselle, right? Um, anything, guys. Anything that you can put a name on can be a noun, okay? Now, the noun, nouns, guys, right? A subject can be. Two things. What what does a what, what can a subject be, guys? A subject can be a noun, and it can also be a pronoun. Pronouns. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's what the subject can be. All right. So so far so good. Right. Yes. So yes. Now I want to ask you again. Okay. So why would this be a noun? If we know, guys, that we can say. You know, why, why is this a noun? One thing I'd like to have. We know it's a clause, right? It's a clause, okay? It is a dependent clause because we need more information, right? Mm -hmm. All right. But why is it a noun? Why would you consider this a noun? The reason why, guys, is because usually you can you can identify him by, by, by this, okay? Because, guys, you can substitute the whole thing here. You can substitute mm -hmm. all of this 
by the word Cheyenne, okay? So think about Cheyenne, all right? I want you to keep Cheyenne in your mind forever, okay? If you can substitute it with Cheyenne, guys, okay, it's a noun, got it? We can say mm -hmm. Cheyenne is my brother's car. Obviously, guys, maybe your car is named, you know, it's called, uh, you call your car Cheyenne, right? I mean, this phrase would make sense. My Cheyenne is my brother's car, all right? Got it? So it's because, guys, we can use the whole phrase can be used as a noun, okay? One thing I like to have is, right, my, brother, my brother's car. Mm, let's take a look at other examples. Let's see. Uh, All right, let's, let's use the, word, the phrase, you know, some I, I let's let's change it. Something I I like about you, right? Is this a clause, guys? Yes or no? I like. Is this a, is this a clause? Yes, yes. Yes, right. What is the definition of a clause? I have subject and predicate. Okay, right. It's a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate, right? A subject and a verb, right? Yes, including a predicate. Okay, so we it is a clause, right? So this clause, right? Is this um okay? So we need that. We know that we need more information. Okay, so you can say something I like about you, and then I can say is that um is um let's see. You are sociable. All right, is um, your sociability, right? All right, you can say something I like about you is your sociability, or you can say, um, you can say, mm -hmm. you can say, for example, one thing I um, I'd like to own, right? And then we can say is um is a guitar, right? One thing I like to own is a guitar, right? So notice that we are replacing this. I'm gonna make this easier for you, okay? Do you remember, guys, what a subject, what a sub, uh, not a, no, no, not a subject, guys, what a pronoun does? Do you remember what it does? A pronoun replaces? Re replaces the subject? No? All right, take, guys, take notes, right? Take notes. A pronoun, not the subject. A pronoun replaces nouns, Noun. okay? A noun can be a subject and the object, okay? That's why... Yes, your answer is correct, but it's missing the part that says, you know, nouns, right? It replaces nouns because a subject, guys, can be a, not, uh, it can be a pronoun too, right? So a pronoun, remember, a pronoun cannot replace other pronouns, okay? They can replace nouns, right? So a pronoun replaces nouns. So let me ask you this. So if a pronoun replaces noun, can we replace this with a pronoun, yes or no? Pronoun replace. Think about it. Yes or no? Can we replace it with a pronoun? Yes. Yes, yeah. of course. What pronoun can I replace it with? I. Hold on. I'm going to ask around, guys. Okay. Let me, let me let me ask people without who have the camera turned off. Right. Let's go with Allison. No. Allison, what what pronoun can we use to replace the phrase "something I like about you"? Uh, can you repeat? Yes, yes, absolutely. What pronoun can we use to replace the phrase something I like about you? Mm, let me think. Okay, all right, very good. My question is, guys, what, right, what pronoun can we use to replace the phrase Raise something 
I like about you. Right? I did you. Yeah, yes, yes. Do, do you have the answer, Allison? No. no. I I, I did, it's the pronouns you replace. You can replace. Oh, okay. I so I can replace. So you can say. So you can say I is your is is your sociability. On me. Okay. Yes. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me, Giselle. No. Oh, somebody else. Oh, somebody else said yes. yes. Tell me, guys. Tell me. I don't know who who said me, but go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, I have a question. In that case, no. uh, we can replace I. For me. No, For I want me. you to okay. I want you to replace the something now the noun phrase, right? This is called a noun phrase, right? Because it is a noun, okay? So I'm asking you, what what pronoun can I use to replace this noun? Can be which? No. Pronoun, pronoun, me. pronoun. Yes, ah, pronouns. <laughs> Something uh, to like me about you. No, 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 no. Pronoun, guys. Okay. Pronoun uh, what be, personal uh, pronoun can you replace the whole phrase with? I'm going to ask it in Spanish. Con qué nombre personal puedo ah. reemplazar toda la frase? <laughs> something I like about you. I don't want to give you the answers so you can understand, right? So what pronoun, what personal pronoun can I replace the whole phrase with, right? Un pronombre reemplaza un sustantivo, right? Sustantivo significa noun in English, right? Chayanne se reemplaza con he. Maria se reemplazaría con she. What? Can be they or we? We, so we can say we is your responsibility? No. No, no. So what? Lo que quiero saber yeah. es que, con qué se puede reemplazar something I like about you. Todo esto es un, un sustantivo, funciona como un sustantivo. Maybe It, your? Your. So can I, I mean, your is not a personal pronoun, okay? Your is a possessive adjective. So mm -hmm. let's see. We want a name. Only I need he, a pronoun. He? Can I say he is your he is your sociability? Yeah. It's you. 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 So can I say you? Sorry. So can I say you is your sociability? You is your can be it. Very good. Who said that? Who said that? Okay. Somebody gave me the answer. Me. All right, me, what is the answer? It, it. All right, very good. Who's talking? Giselle? No? No. Car Carla. No, Carla. Carla. All right, Carla, congratulations. Applaus applause for Carla, guys. Good job, Carla. There you go. Okay. So one way, guys, you can you can you can determine, you know, if it is a noun clause or not, is by by asking Carla, okay? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> now one way you can determine, guys, if it is a noun clause or not, is by by thinking about if it can be replaced by a pronoun. In this example, right? We can replace something I like about you. Instead of saying all of that, we can say it. It is your responsibility, got it? So like this, right? So it, and then so I'm replacing the whole phrase, right? The whole phrase over here is being replaced by the word it, right? And then, you know, we have the complement, which would be, you know, is your sociability, right? I don't know why I said responsibility, guys. All right. Uh, but yeah, it is your sociability like this, okay? So, see, all right, so there you go, guys. So that's why I want you to understand why it's called a noun phrase, right? 
it is a, it, it's called a noun phrase because it works as a noun. The whole phrase works as a noun, okay? Toda la frase funciona como un sustantivo, okay? Even in Spanish, guys, if I say, um, una de las cosas que más me interesa estudiar, toda esa frase sería un sustantivo, right? Una de las cosas que más me interesa estudiar es matemáticas, right? Porque yo puedo sustituir toda esa frase con la palabra et. Right? Uh, Got it? All right. Yes. Okay. Yo puedo decir ello es matemáticas, ¿ok? All right. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. And I have yes. a question. The, the Tell second me. sentence. Uh, I can use it too. Yes, absolutely. You can use it. Exactly. Ok. So it is a guitar. It is, right? Usually, guys, you're going to notice that they're going to be followed by the verb be, okay? All right? So, if you see, guys, because the platform, right, the platform the platform shows you, um, the platform shows you the, um, what do you call this? It shows you the video. All right, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Maria. All right, so the platform, guys, is going to show you, right, this over here, which is called uh, relative relative pronouns as subjects, right? But so you understand what it's talking about, right? Like over here, right? It says we have two phrases, right? Yeah, we we have we have this here that says. I like guys, they are two zeros, right? And then it gets turned into, you know, a relative front, um, a a relative plus, right? I like guys who aren't too serious, okay? So the, the fact, guys, okay, um, let's see, this right here, okay? I like guys, right? They aren't too serious. If we turn this into, I like guys who aren't too serious, Right? Why is where is the the relative pronoun? I mean, hold on. Let me. I think we have to. I'm gonna play it, guys, because the, the example is not there. Okay. No. No, but we're gonna we're gonna have to stick here, okay? So if I say, guys, I like to meet people who are sociable, can we substitute this phrase, for example? I like to meet people. Can we substitute that? We can substitute everything up until this point, guys. Okay, like here, right? And we can say, they, right? They are sociable. But notice the only the only difference here, guys. The only difference that we're gonna notice here is that instead of using guys, the um, the linking verb is right. We're gonna use the relative pronoun, okay? But basically, this whole phrase over here will be a noun, yeah. right? Know. It will be a noun phrase, <laughs> okay? So we can say, you know, they are sociable the only exception here guys is that as we explained yesterday who is a relative pronoun which is substituting you know um which is substituting substituting here people guys it's not substituting the whole phrase it's substituting people right but anyways that is the logic behind um treating you know phrases as hold on treating phrases guys let me i'm trying to share the other screen Training phrases as a noun. Do we have any questions, guys? Mm. No. No, we're good. All right, okay. When will we use that 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 noun phrases? I mean the when when we have to to substitute. When do I we mean have a conversation. In a conversation? Uh -huh. mm, I'm not sure. I'm not. Are you asking me when can we? When uh, are we going to? When we're going to use this, or 
Uh -huh. Or when can you substitute this with a with a pronoun? When we have to 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 substitute. Okay, so you're asking me when you should substitute this with a pronoun. So uh -huh. if okay, so if you want to substitute this with a pronoun, now a pronoun, guys, is called something. All right, is what we call old information. Okay, old information equals pronouns, right? And you'll see why. All right, so this is all the information, right? And new information equals nouns, okay? Why is why is that? When you introduce guys, let's say that uh, Carla, right? You and, I don't know, maybe you and Jennifer are friends, okay? And you wanna introduce me to Jennifer. So you're gonna say, oh, um, he is David, right? You're going to say that, right? He is David, mm -hmm. right? You're not going to say he is he. Why can you not say he is he? Because she doesn't know me, right? Mm -hmm. So so you're going to say he's David. And then you can say David, right? David is an instructor, right? Uh, or you can say a teacher, whatever. David is a teacher, right? Now, instead of saying David again, right, you can say he is a teacher, right? Why? Because, mm -hmm. because this information is new, right? We use nouns when we want to introduce new information, and we use pronouns when we already, when the other, when the listener or the reader, right, whoever the receptor is, knows what we are talking about. If you say he, right? Whoever you're uh -huh. talking to, in this case, Jennifer, will know that you're talking about David, correct? Mm -hmm. So so you're going to substitute this if, if you know, you are going to repeat the, you're going to talk about the same thing again. So instead of saying this, you can say, you know, one thing I, I'd like to have is my brother's car. All right. Um, it's also my brother's heart, right? In that case, you are going to replace it with it. Now, I was giving you, I was I was telling you that you can replace it with it as an example for you to remember that this is a, how you can, as an example for you to determine, you know, uh, for you to recognize a noun, okay? All right, did that answer your okay. question? Yes, thank you. All right, all right, very good, very good, right? Excellent, guys, okay, excellent. All right, and then guys, we have the other phase of the problem, which is noun phrases, okay, containing relative clauses as objects, okay? So how can we determine if something is an object, okay? So basically as an object, right, is the same as a subject. The only difference guys is that the subject is the one performing the action and the object is the one receiving the action. Got it? Uh, can you repeat this part, please? Yes. The subject, right? The subject will be the one performing the action. Right? Uh-huh. All right. And th this is the subject, guys. Okay. I I'll explain to you why it says here, subject, object, right? And this is the one receiving the action, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So if we, you know, if we switch places, right? Before we said... Uh, one thing I'd like to have is my brother's car, right? So what happens if we, if we switch, you know, positions? What if I want to get uh, the object, right? Right here, if we go back, right? We had the object. So this whole thing was the object, my brother's, oops. My brother's car, right? And the subject was one thing I'd like to have. Remember that the subject will start the sentence, right? So here we have my brother's car, which was the object, but now it became the subject, right? We still have the verb be, and now the subject, mm -hmm. right? The subject became the object, all right? So you can say, my brother's car is one thing I like to have. So what, David, why is this called? Noun phrases containing real life. Why is it called, you know, clauses <laughs> as objects, okay? Clauses as objects. Because this whole phrase, guys, the whole phrase now is an object. 
right? Now, let me ask you something. Why is it called, why is it called an object? Why is this an object now? Mm, because it's the part, one thing I like to have is the part to uh, see the action. Yes, that is correct, okay. Can I replace mm -hmm. it with, can I replace it with a pronoun? Um, yes, but no, in this case, only yeah, yeah. if you switch the, the, the place of the sentence. All right. Actually, yes, you can. You can say it. I can. You can say my brother. All right. All right. You can say one thing I'd like to, you can say my brother is it, right? But you should, you would need to know what one thing I'd like to have it, right? All right. Or you can say here, you can say it, right? Is one thing I'd like to have. But, um, but yes, okay. guys, but here you can, you can say this. Absolutely. Yes. If you know what you're talking about. But anyways, you should not be saying it. The reason why it is, the, it is correct. Okay. It is, it is absolutely correct. But this is just so you can determine. I'm explaining that you can say it because it is grammatically correct, okay? And also because it will help you determine that a phrase can be a noun, right? This guy's right here. This phrase right here is still a noun phrase, okay? It's still mm -hmm. a noun, right? Why? Because you can substitute it with another, right? With another, um, with, with a pronoun, right? Or if everything else fails, right? And you want to make sure that you 100, you, you absolutely remember this. You can always use la vieja confiable. My brother's car is Cheyenne, right? If that's going to help you remember, right? You can use that. Okay. So, because it's a noun, okay? All right, is it clear, guys? Yes. Clear yeah. as vodka water, the drop, <clears throat> no? All right, very good, guys, very good. Okay, so, all right. So moving forward, guys, okay. We actually, we, we actually came across this, right? But, um, Mm, uh, 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 let's go back to the platform, okay? Now, let me ask you something, guys. Did you did you solve the uh, section one? Yes. Did you resolve section one? All of it? Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Uh, have you solved section two? Uh, I be no. in the half. Not yet. <laughs> the Not yet. Two point two point six. Two point six. Yes. All right. Okay. Let me let's go to the platform and we're going to solve the rest of the exercises here, guys. Okay. So, anyways, um, we did this one yesterday. All right. So, let's go with personalities. Okay. So, are you sure that you have all done this? Because I need everybody to have finished this, guys, before we proceed. Have you done this one? 1.7? 1. 1.7. 1. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I finished it. You finished it? Okay. I guess. All right, very good. All right, so let's go with which statement best describes and Andrea, guys? Andrea is someone who is sociable and easygoing. Andrea is someone who is egotistical and stingy. Right, this is based on the of the audio that we that you listen to in section 1.6 so which statement best describes andrea what do you think do you want to type my answer yes Giselle, yes please andrea is someone who is ego egotistical and stinky all right all right very good okay good job good job okay um let's see let's see let's see um Catherine, Catherine, what do you have in number two? Which statement best describes James? Catherine? No? 
All right, Juan Linares, uh, which statement best describes James? Are you there, guys? All right. Mm, Jaime Reyes, do you have the answer? Uh, yes, yeah, James is someone who is sociable and easygoing. All right, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, Claudia Rivas, Claudia, do you have uh, which statement best describes Mr. Johnson? Um, I didn't hear the audio yet. So you haven't heard it, okay. All right. I don't know. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, um, Maria Concepcion, do you have this answer? Did you did you complete the audio? Oh, I think I think she left. All right. Um. Let's see. Uh, Jennifer. Jennifer, did you do you have this one? Well, I like people easygoing. So, Mr. Johnson is someone who is sociable and easygoing. All right. Okay. Let's see. All right, very good. So this this one, so this 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 is based, guys, on the audio that you heard on the previous exercise, right? Uh, so who's who's done it, guys? If you finished, thank thank you very much, Jennifer. If you finished, guys, what is the what what does the audio say about Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson is someone who is temperamental and unreliable. Unreliable. Repeat, guys. Unreliable. Reliable. Okay, so so that guys. That was, I think it was. Is this the is this the part of part of the audio, guys? Let me see. It says 1.6, right? So yeah, here here's where you're gonna find those answers, okay? All right, guys. Um. All right. Uh, did you finish this one? Or not? Yeah, I yet? do. I do. Did. Great. Okay, do my favorite. Guys. Tell me if you have not finished section one, so we can stop here and we can and we can move on with um, with the rest of the class. Because this one, guys, right? You you can still you still have the guys until Friday to finish, but remember that section two needs to be finished as well, right? So have we finished this one, or we still have people who haven't finished it? Okay, all right, don't worry then. Okay, let's move on with the class, guys. Okay, and we'll see the answers for that tomorrow. All right, now I have some exercise for you guys that I'd like you to practice. So let's go back here. All right, so I want everybody, guys, to take a screenshot, or you know what? Let me, let me take a screenshot of myself, and I'll send this to the group, okay? What I want you to do, guys, is to to um to work on this part right here i want you to practice completing the sentences about living in a foreign country using phrases seen on the picture right phrases seen on the picture this is the picture this is the whole picture these are the phrases right so for for example you can say one thing i definitely be fascinated by is right maybe making new friends right maybe not understanding people I don't I don't think this would be a good answer, guys, right? Because not understanding good people is not something that you should be fascinated by, right? You're speaking a new language. All right, a new language, right? So follow guys, okay. follow, you know, the example that I gave you before. Huh? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send this to the WhatsApp group and I'm gonna get you together into breakout rooms, okay? So we can start practicing. Do we have any questions, guys, on what we're gonna do? No, no question. All right, let's go then. Let's go. Let's practice. Hello, Alison. Um, so we're waiting for people to come to to come and join. Okay. Okay. All right, they should be here soon. 
you know, I think I'm going to get you together with someone else because not everybody's joining. So I sent you the um, I sent you the exercise to the WhatsApp group, guys. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. My so, favorite. I missed it. I'm sorry. I was gonna say I sent you the exercise to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All Thank right. You. Um, making um, my hey guys. Um, so uh, did, did you get the the exercise? I sent it to the um, I sent it to the WhatsApp group. Not yet. Oh, you haven't received it. I have the the. The image, but uh -huh. I have to complete in my notebook, right? Or, or no, no, no. Or um, just practice. Well, well, yeah, practice, right? Practice. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, yes, but but mm -hmm. but but the exercise should be in the WhatsApp group. Ah. Uh, yes, that's where you get the exercise from. Do you see it? Yes. All right. There you go. There you go. Culture. Getting okay. used to a different culture. Oh, okay. Did, 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 did you did you get the exercise? I think so, right? I try them. Well, we try them. All right. No, okay, but but um, I was just gonna say send the exercise to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yes. Okay. Um. Is. It's something I really miss um, to be my family or my friend. Mm -hmm. It's something I really miss. Mm -hmm. Oh, being away from home. Mm -hmm. All good over here, guys and girls. And all good. Nobody should. <laughs> no, I have a question. The um, the sentences. Mm -hmm. Um. And we we do with the words that I inside uh -huh. dentro del de las cajitas del box the word box. No, I mean it's for you. You can you you can do it in your notebook. All right, it's just for you to practice. Okay. No, right, no, so. no. No, no, que sí, o sea, que sí, ajá, la vamos a contestar de acuerdo a las palabras que están. Yes, uh, yes, yes, according de to la the, cajita, ¿verdad? yes, according to the words that you have inside the box, yes. Ay, sí. Yes, that is correct. Ah, yeah, thank you. No, thanks to you. Thanks. All right, very good. Okay, continue. Concepcion, hi. I'm 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 trying to move you to a different room. Um, can you join the room I sent you to? Concepcion, no.
And the most uncomfortable thing would be getting lost in uh, yeah, maybe mm -hmm. getting lost in a new city. It's one thing that I may be embarrassed about. The most uncomfortable thing will be getting lost in a new city. Mm -hmm. Number 12, the most uncomfortable things will be getting sick. Getting getting sick, yeah. Más incómodo. Mm -hmm. Good job, guys. Good job. Thank you. Number four, 14. One thing I'll be in <laughs> I, I don't think so. <laughs> hey, what, what happened? Oh, I'm having fun. Uh, almost I, 10. I don't know. I can see that. I can see that. That's I great. I just That's ate great. a chocolate, a big chocolate. So maybe I'm. <laughs> A chocolate. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I need to stay up <laughs> this time. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad that you're having fun. All right. Did Did you finish the exercises? Yes, but uh, conception is recently enjoy us. Okay. All right. So she she recently joined you. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So um, I'm gonna check on the other guys. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. A few things I'd be anxious about, maybe. Mm Um, then something that would depress me is maybe being away from home. Something that would depress me is being away from home. Yeah. Being away from home. Yep. Okay. Um what is the another one? It's... All right. Hello, welcome back, Alex Dulce. Good to Hello. see you back here. Hello. 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 Uh I didn't practice with someone. You didn't practice with any with anyone? Yeah. Oh, what happened? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you together with um with other classmates this time around. Okay. Hello. I'm there. <laughs> okay. Right. Very good. So we're waiting for for everybody else to come back. Hello. Once again, man. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Hello. I can hear you. Yes. Can you hear me? They think you're having issues with your connection. All right, guys. All right. Good practice, guys. Good practice. Okay. All right. So let's take a look, guys, at um, the following exercise. Uh, I was, I was, I was listening to you guys. Okay, and most of the answers were great. So let's um, let's try to go over some of those answers. Okay. Uh, um. So let's see. All right. So one thing I definitely be fascinated by is, let's see, what is one of your answers? Eric Cardoza, what was one of your answers? Uh, for me, one thing I definitely be fascinated by getting used to a different culture. All right. Getting used, getting used to a different culture. 
or buy a different, getting used to a different culture. All right, very good. That is good. Very good job. Okay, all right. All right, very good. Um, let's see, Noé Vasquez. What do you have, Noé? Number seven. I really miss um my room at home. No, notice, notice, guys, that this is an object, right? So this is the second part of your sentence, right? Not the first one. So you should say, for example, making new friends is something I really, I really miss, miss, right? Yeah. All right. So you said home, my room at home is something I really miss. Okay, that can be an a right answer. Very good. Thank you, Noah. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Arabella, number eight. What would you say, number eight? Uh, two things I be homesick for are uh, getting sick. Getting sick. All right. Now, when you say, guys, all right, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. When you say homesick is that you, you know, you miss your town, okay? Extrañas tu pueblo, tu casa, um, right? That's what it means, homesick. Me to think I be homesick for our Uh, getting lost is a new city. No. It could be right. It could be, for example, my favorite food. Something. I two things I'd be hungry. I'd be homesick for. And let's see if we have uh, are my favorite food and. My family, for example, right? Sí, right? Yes. It's like saying, algo, dos cosas que extrañaría de mi hogar o de, right, de mi pueblo es mi familia y la, la comida, right? Got it? Sí. Right. So you can say, yes. uh, one thing I'd be hungry, I'd be hum, hum okay. for is pupusas, for example, right? You can say it, right? Very good, guys, very good. Yes. All right, so let's see. Um, no, 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 Jennifer, 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 number 10, actually number nine, sorry. Getting used to a different culture and getting lost in a new city are things I'd be anxious about. All right, very good, good job. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's see, Let, uh, 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 let's see, no, Carla. Carlita, all right, Carla, number 10. I, I, you're, you're, I think you're muted, Carla. Your microphone? Oh, no, I think it's her connection now. Sorry, yes, it's... Uh -huh, yeah. Something that will depress me is getting lost in a new getting lost in a new city okay all right good job thank you thank you very much all right um claudia rivas number 11. okay um not understanding people is one thing that i might that i might be embarrassed about good job great pronunciation great thank pronunciation you. um jaime reyes number number 12. All right, Juan Linares, is number 12. All right, Allison. Oh, okay, Juan, you're there. Thank you. Number 12, something that will depress me is oh, the most comfortable thing will be. Mm, the most uncomfortable thing would be 
lo, sería lo más confort, confortable, la cosa más confortable. Yes. I don't understand. Yeah, the, the most uncomfortable is like something that is bothering you, you know? That is the meaning of uncomfortable. If you don't have it, that's fine. Um, you can complete it, okay? Before, guys, okay, before we move forward, all right, let's have number, who has number 12, guys? Who completed number 12? Thank you very much, Juan. Who has number 12? Giselle? Yes. Alex, Alex, yes. Alex, and then Giselle. Okay, can be the most uncomfortable thing uh, would be mm -hmm. not understanding people. Not understanding people. Okay, good job. Okay, that is good. Um, Giselle, number 13. Uh, uh, getting sick is something from my home that I never <laughs> miss. Good job. Okay, and number 14, guys. Who wants to give me number 14? Even if you didn't reach that part, guys, try to, you know, try to, try to, try to, um, try to get it. I guess he's speaking a new languages. One thing I be insecure about is speaking a new language. He's speaking a new language. Very good, guys. Very good. Language. Good job, guys. Language. Good job. Plus for you guys. All right. Very good job. Very good job. Okay. All right. So by now, guys, by now you should all be able to understand what a clause is, what is a, um, a relative pronoun, what is a relative clause, what is a dependent clause, what is an independent clause, right? Um, how we use, you know, a clause as a subject okay. and an object of a sentence, right? Uh, and this is all related, guys, to the exercises that you see in the platform, right? So um, we're going we're gonna to continue, guys. We're going to finish. We're going to wrap up section one tomorrow and then we're going to move on to section two right to so section two topics if you have questions guys please ask me okay please ask me on the whatsapp group send me your question you know via whatsapp and i'll i'll be more than glad to help you with that okay we will go through the answers guys um this week okay this week on friday because we have to come usually guys we're not going to be coming Fridays, right? So classes are usually from Monday through Thursday. However, this week we will come on Friday and next week too. So, uh -huh. so just just so you know, okay. All right, and then after that we're gonna be coming from Monday to Thursday, right? But this Friday, guys, we will be there. So on Friday we're gonna go, um, we're gonna review the platform and we're gonna go over the exercises on the on 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 section one and section two. So that's why it's very important, guys, that by this Friday, before before Friday, or on this Friday, you complete, before 9 p.m., right, before we have the class, it's very important that you complete section one and two, okay? And we're gonna go over the topics, right, tomorrow and on Friday too, okay? But yes, we will see them, guys. That's because, I, I, I mean, we're going to go over the answers here in the class. So it's important that you complete them before so you understand, you know, you, you get the time to practice, right? Because if, if I give you the answers and then you just complete them, right? And you're not going to learn, right? And I think we're here because we want to learn, right? So, so yes, guys, that's how it works. All right. Anyways, um, how do you feel so far, guys? Have you have you learned anything new? Yes. Yes. yes two days all right very good very good keep practicing guys your english most you know most of you have great english right um if you want to practice pronunciation guys i recommend you guys looking for vowel sounds okay learn vowel sounds and you'll know how to speak correctly how to pronounce things correctly in english right very important that you look for vowel sounds and also you know look for consonant sounds too right anyways thank you very much guys enjoy the rest of your evening and i'll see you tomorrow take care guys thank have you a good one tomorrow. thank you, you. Guys. See you guys. thank you teacher. Bye.